specifically on this nuclear crisis that has come out of the Japan quake, it naturally has a lot of Americans wondering about the safety of the nuclear plants and reactors here. More on that tonight from NBC's Lisa Myers. Within hours of these images, some U.S. scientists called for an increase in safeguards at the 104 nuclear plants in this country. Could what happened in Japan happen here? Yes, I'm afraid it could. And unless we learn the lessons of this accident, then I'm afraid that it's only a matter of time before it does. U.S. nuclear plants are built to withstand the worst earthquake expected in their area, plus a margin of safety. This California plant in an earthquake-prone area, Diablo Canyon, is built to withstand a magnitude 7.5 quake. Japan's earthquake was a 9.0. We do need to consider the possibility of greater magnitude earthquakes uh, than we had uh, uh, previously considered. Another concern, reactor design. There are 31 plants in the U.S. similar to those in trouble in Japan designed by General Electric, which is a part owner of NBC Universal. One example, Oyster Creek in New Jersey, the oldest nuclear plant in the country, about 50 miles from New York City. Then there's the issue of backup power. When Japan's plants lost electricity, their backup systems also failed, leaving them struggling to cool the core. Here, the industry maintains that since 9-11, U.S. plants have upgraded systems to cope with power failures. We would actually be able to handle this situation uh, much easier than the Japanese are facing right now. The nuclear industry says it's highly improbable that this could happen here. But experts note that Japan didn't think it could happen there either. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Washington. And we're back in a moment with more on this disaster in Japan.